seeing how late I can initiate irrigations without affecting reducing yield. Trying to use less total water, if I delay initiation, then I put less total water out on the field than if I initiate earlier. So I'm trying to find and key on that moisture content in the soil to help schedule irrigations better. I have three initiation studies out there on three different soils to help try and determine what that threshold is that we need to initiate irrigations with soil water potential readings from sensors like soil moisture sensors like watermarks and our soil water deficit using calculations of crop ET. I have two of those studies are under fur irrigation, one of them is under sprinkler and we are this is actually the fourth year of a four-year project, so we're trying to finish it up. The significant findings to date is that we're, we had three years so far, two years we had a, a pretty good number, soil water potential value to go by, and then the next year it was blown out of the water because it was a much cooler year. We've gone back and looked at the data and we find that they're heat related, and we need to maybe take that into adjustment and so I'm seeing that we may need possibly two thresholds. One that occurs when you're, you're in a heat, extended heat period or fixing to be in an extended heat period and then one that's truly just uh, with no heat, mainly a, a drought induced threshold. The ultimate benefit for the farmer is to irrigate when he needs to such that we can save and conserve water and fuel uh, so do a better job of irrigation schedule.